All right, guys. We are getting ready to wrap up our 12 days of mods Tacoma build. Today is day 12, so no secret here. Corey's gonna have to go with the last one remaining. How do you feel? I kept the biggest one for last. The truck looks a lot different than when we started, and uh, I'm excited to get this last one on. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be pretty cool. Yeah, if you guys are just catching us now, we are doing 12 days of mods on the Tacoma. So if you are just finding this, go back to day one, start there, work your way up, and you'll be able to see the transformation of the Tacoma from where it was to where it is now and its final state right before we hit Christmas. All right, let's. Uh, Let's not hold it off any longer. Let's get this opened up and Corey's gonna have to prepare to get the last part installed. Do, 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 do. Oh, I already see it. <laughs> I was hoping it was just a blank box. Well, there we go. Air Raid Snorkel. I don't know, in the last video, I said for you guys to guess. So let me know if you guys guessed right. All right, let's get the Air Raid Snorkel opened up here. We have one of these installed on our Forerunner. That was a pretty easy install, so we're gonna see how this one goes. Okie dokie. Let's get everything out here on the table. Air Aid probably makes one of the cleanest looking snorkels on the market. That's why I like them. All right, so we have everything on the table ready to go. We have the snorkel itself. Super nice design. I love these vent things that they have integrated into the body of the snorkel. We have the big rubber coupler that's gonna be connecting the snorkel to your intake box. We have this foam pad. This is gonna be sticking to the backside of the snorkel and this is gonna protect the paint. So we don't have to worry about the paint behind it getting all destroyed. We have all of our brackets, bolts, everything. Uh, we have Loctite in there. And then we have the paperwork, which probably has the templates on it that we're gonna need to lay out on the fender so we know where we're drilling our holes. All right, so let's go ahead and get the lights on and get this thing installed. All right, so I was looking at the paperwork here a little bit. We have two different styles of brackets for the Tacoma. On the Forerunner, you're gonna be drilling directly into your A-pillar. You're gonna be putting some rib nuts in there or some rivets. This one's a little bit different. We have two brackets, one to connect it right to the OEM roof rack if you have it. And if you don't have a roof rack, it comes with this bracket. This is gonna be tying into the bolts that are underneath the weather stripping on your roof. We currently have a Sherpa roof rack on there, so it might get in the way. And if that's the case, we're gonna to have to do some modifications to either this bracket, or we're gonna to have to make something to mount the upper section of the snorkel. So it could get interesting once we get to that part. So the first thing we're gonna do is pop the hood and we are going to get the intake removed from the Tacoma. We have a TRD intake on this. It is gonna be compatible. Uh, it's pretty much the same design as a stock intake. So we're gonna go ahead and get that removed. First thing we're gonna do, because we're gonna be unplugging sensors and whatnot, we're gonna disconnect the battery. With the battery disconnected, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the MAF sensor and we can get the harness for that disconnected from the air box. We can get that out of our way. Now I'm gonna go ahead and unclip the air box. Loosen this clamp here and we're going to remove the whole 
upper section of the air box. Remove your filter. And then we're gonna have three 12 millimeter bolts holding the bottom part of the air box in. We're gonna take those out. With those three bolts removed, we can go ahead and pull out the lower portion of the air box. And then we're gonna pull this piece out here from the inner fender. So that's everything under the hood. Now we need to go ahead and remove our fender flare. There's gonna be two bolts on the bottom here we're gonna be taking out. And then we have some 10 millimeter bolts all along the edge. We're gonna pop those out as well. And then we're gonna have clips behind this going all the way around. We're gonna to have to undo all of those. The kit from Airy does come with new clips, so if you do break those, you can replace them. Now we're gonna reach inside the fender here. There's gonna be two clips that go through into the bumper. You wanna depress those and pull the flare out. You don't wanna just yank on it because you could break those. So once you have those two undone, we're gonna go ahead and pop these out. There's gonna be some double-sided tape there as well. There is a chance that you're gonna break these. There's really not a whole lot you can do. So just go ahead and pop these out. All right, so with the fender flare off, if you look where these two tabs are, you took some 10 millimeter bolts out of there. We need to remove the clips in here that hold the bolts in. Uh, they might be a pain to get out. They might, the easiest thing to do might just be to cut the heads off. They do uh, supply four brand new ones. So if you need to replace those, you can. So we need to get those removed in order to be able to get access to underneath the fender liner. Yeah, it's gonna be near impossible to get these out without destroying them, so. I'm just going to rip the heads off. It's just a flat section that you need to get off and then you'll be able to get the fender liner out from there. With those two out, now we should be able to get the access we need to go up behind the fender. So once we drill all of our holes and we go to actually mount the snorkel, we'll be able to uh, put the nuts on from the backside. So we got the templates here. They come printed out for you, which is nice. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out with some scissors on the line, and we can get these laid out on the fender and uh, get ready to drill some holes. All right, so we're gonna get this lined up here with the edge of the fender and also this body line right here. Now we're going to take the second one. We're going to line it up something like that. We got the body line here, we got the body line here and line these two up where they come together. So we got the template all laid out here on the fender. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a center punch. I'm going to mark the holes where I'm gonna be drilling and then we can start drilling from there. So with the holes marked, now we can go ahead and pull the template off and get this out of our way. And then I'm gonna start with an eighth inch drill bit. I'm gonna use that as a pilot bit to go through all of the holes first, and then we can go bigger from there. All right, got an eighth inch drill bit here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit, um, I guess we can do all four and the eighth inch drill bit. And then the outer three are gonna get drilled with a half inch drill bit. Do not uh, drill the center hole with the half inch drill bit uh, because when you go to do the hole saw, the pilot bit for that is going to be a quarter inch, so if you drill it any bigger than a quarter inch, you're not going to have your center and your hole's going to be off. 
So first thing we're gonna do is hit these with the eighth inch. So now we're going to hit this one, this one, and this one with the half inch drill bit, and we'll leave that one go. I'm just going around, I'm gonna use a deburring tool. I'm gonna to get all the sharp edges. If you have a file, you can use that. Clean up those edges, and then if you want, you can take um, some paint, put some paint on that fresh metal so that it doesn't rust or anything like that. All right, we got those three holes drilled. We got the edges cleaned up. Now it's time for the fun part. We have a four inch hole saw on here. We're gonna go ahead and drill out that center hole and um, this should be fun. Take your time and uh, make sure it's right. Should probably put safety glasses on. This drill's junk. You hear that? <laughs> The scary part's done. Corey's got all of the holes drilled. He did this on the Forerunner, so he had a little bit of confidence from that. The hole saw is always tricky to get it going, especially with uh, our drill. It doesn't seem to want to work right, but he's just cleaning it up with a deburring tool. We're gonna put some paint on the raw metal. We don't want it to rust prematurely. And then we can move on, and Corey's gonna have to work out what, if any, modifications we have to do to get that uh, snorkel scoop to mount up at the roof. Probably just spray some in here. So while the paint is drying over there, we can go ahead and get the snorkel prepped. I'm gonna go ahead and get this foam back pad installed on here. We get the studs threaded into there, and then this thing will be ready to go on the Tacoma. I'm gonna go ahead and just clean this up with some alcohol so that this sticks extra good. Now we can peel this off the back. I don't know if I should do like part of it. And just go all the way. All the way. Make sure our holes are lined up. All right, so we got that on. We got pretty much all of the air pockets out of it. Once we get a nice hot summer day, that will stick pretty good. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the three studs. They give you some Loctite. We're gonna go ahead and put a little dab of Loctite on each one of these and thread these in. You should be able to just thread these in by hand, but if you ever need to take them out, there is an Allen head on the top, so you can easily do that. All right, so let's take the snorkel. Let's do a test fit here on the Tacoma and see what we need to do as far as making a bracket for up here. That fits very nicely in those holes that we drilled out. So if you take a look up here, we need to make a bracket. So what I'm probably gonna end up doing is taking this Allen bolt out here and utilizing that. And then maybe I can make a little bracket that goes from this hole here to this hole here and tie everything together so it's nice and sturdy. I'm gonna go ahead and put the washers and nuts on this, snug it up to hold it in place, but I wanna be able to move this around a little bit so I can get it dialed in. I 
that might work. I think that's gonna work. That should be it. So I took the one bracket that came with the snorkel that you would use if you had a factory roof rack. I smashed it flat and then I did a couple of other little bends on it with some pliers, pretty, pretty small bends, just to tweak it in different directions to get it to fit. And I think this is gonna work almost perfect, so I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. So I have this uh, threaded in here to the top um, nut. You can see I have one bolt in there. And then this will line up almost perfectly with the side of the roof rack, and I can put that uh, bolt back in there for the front fairing and that'll be plenty to hold the top of the snorkel in place. Now I should be able to get this bolt back in there. Just like that. Perfect. That's not going nowhere. See if this fits without any issues. So if I put it down all the way, it hits a little bit, but right like that, yeah, that's perfect. All right, so we got this thing all mounted up. That bracket worked out perfectly and it went pretty, pretty easy, easier than I expected. So now we can go ahead and get the um, coupler fed through to where it's going to be hooking up to our air box. Now we got to go ahead and put our clamps on. Let's get that connected to the snorkel. We got the bottom clamp tightened down. A little uh, difficult to get it on there when it's up inside the fender. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the bottom portion of the air box reinstalled and get the other clamp down onto that coupler. So we're gonna go ahead and line everything up, get it slipped in place. There's cuts on that coupler, so it really only fits one way. Got that other clamp tightened down here. I'm going to go ahead and reinstall the bottom portion of the air box. The air filter and the top portion of the air box, get all that tightened down, mounted, and then we can plug back in our MAF sensor. So we have everything buttoned up underneath the hood and I went ahead and replaced all the clips that had broken tabs. Those are really simple to take out. Just grab them, twist it and it pulls straight out and then the new ones just pop right in. So those are ready to uh, take the fender flare. I'm going to tuck all of this back up, pop in those other two plastic clips that we uh, destroyed earlier to remove and then we can go ahead put our fender flare back on, put all the bolts back in that hold that, and um, hook our battery back up. It's really an art.
rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. What? All right. All right, everyone, we got the Air Raid snorkel installed on the Tacoma. That concludes our 12 days of mods. Day 12 was a success, even with this little wrench that uh, the Sherpa roof rack threw at us. Corey used what was included in the kit and made it work, and yep. it's really pretty perfect, honestly. Worked out pretty good, mounted there nicely. Wasn't as bad as I expected it. The Air Raid snorkel looks really good, functions really good. We slapped that thing on there and uh, Jared put his hand over the front and I gave it a couple whacks with the throttle and it stuck his hand to it. So <laughs> yeah. it's definitely doing its job. And um, the Tacoma definitely looks a lot better now. Over these 12 days, we did a whole bunch of stuff to this thing. If you guys weren't paying attention or didn't watch the other episodes, we did a shift knob, we did a grill, we did headlights, we did taillights, we did a front bumper with a wench and a light bar, uh, full suspension, wheels, tires, bed rack, roam case, snorkel we what we finished it out with road pack shovel yeah I, I missed a couple of the accessories there but it went from pretty much a stock tacoma it had some tires on it and some wheels suspension was completely stock and uh what else was on it besides just the wheels and tires wheels tires the blackout kit some small accessories here and there yeah nothing crazy pretty much a stock tacoma to what it is now and it's a pretty capable off-road rig and we have a lot of accessories on there to help you out on the trail as well. All right, everyone, we really hope you enjoyed our 12 Days of Mods Tacoma build. I hope everyone has a very Merry Christmas and stay tuned and subscribe to the channel because we're gonna take this thing off-road and put some of these new upgrades to the test. Yeah, hopefully soon, we're gonna take this, the 4Runner, and we're gonna go do some off-roading at our local off-road park. Thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you in the next one. We'll see you next year. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs>